Capcom presents. The fighting in this area is ferocious. I'm not going to read all this, guys. Don't worry. Yes, old school is here. It's UN Squadron on the snares. Listen to that music. Only fate will determine if we live or die. I said I wasn't going to read all the text. Um, yeah, this is a game I have fond memories with. Only a madman would take on this mission. Um, I promise I'll stop now. UN Squadron on the SNES! Home computer versions of this existed as well. ZX Spectrum. I think it was C64. Um, but this was originally in the arcade. I've never played the arcade version. I have briefly played the ZX Spectrum version. And this! So my character is Greg Gates. I always used to choose this guy. I think I have to use the FAT. The Crusader. Until I accumulate um, some monies. Uh, so I've got $3,000 to begin with. So I did write down some reviews. Guys, I know you love your review scores. Or some of you do. Um, Famitsu, weekly Famitsu, gave it a... Or the Super Famicom version, they gave it 28 out of 40. Um, which is okay, I think. But... As an aside, that always irked me. The scoring out of 40. Um, yeah, it just it's just weird. But anyway, this still looks and sounds fantastic. Look at the little Mega Man helmet on the bottom left there. I know it's not Mega Man. It's actually Greg, the guy I'm playing as. Um, but it is Capcom. So you've got a little Mega Man helmet. There's always a Mega Man helmet in my mind. I love that animation of Greg at the top as you get hit. It's so cool. There we go. <laughs> um, it also scored at Super Gamer. Um, they gave the SNES version an overall score of 93%. Oh, I remember this slowdown. What it was, I think, is the developer was trying to cram in everything the arcade version had into the SNES version. Because obviously at the time the SNES was a powerhouse. It's the boss, isn't it, now? Boss time. And because they were trying to... Capcom were trying to cram all the arcade versions... Ah. All the arcade version goodness into this SNES version. You got that... It resulted in that slowdown. Uh, Super Gamer Review did say... So I did say um, it scored at 93%. And it went on to say... Graphically impressive with nicely varied levels, a choice of aircraft, uh, plenty of power-ups, and atm atmospheric sound. Highly recommended for shoot 'em up fans. It's really hard, guys, looking over at this bit of paper as I'm trying not to die in UN Squadron. Yeah, this still feels fantastic. Such a cool game. So... It can be a bit of a grind, this game. and I mean that in the nicest possible sense of the word. Because if you're like me and you die a lot, you still get to keep your money that you're accumulating as you play and kill stuff. So I remember playing this first stage a lot. Because you can kind of over-level yourself so you're prepared for the uh, end-of-stage bosses then. A bit like... Dark Souls. There you go. I said it. I say it every time in old school. But it's... Are you leaving already? Um, yeah, it is relevant here. Because if you're struggling, just keep grinding this... Um, this stage. Get all the loot. Get yourself over-leveled or over-equipped with loads of different bomb sets and that kind of thing. And then you can just wipe the floor with the boss. I really struggle with the boss on this stage. Always have done. This is definitely the best home version to play. Home port, if you like. Um, the C64 version was dodgy as all hell. Even though it looked okay, it just didn't play very well, which was uh, weird, because on the C64, the games were generally pretty good. or well, a lot of them were. But yeah, the Spectrum... Oh, that slowed down. The Spectrum's a place to play this if you had one of the home computers, one of the 8-bits. I haven't played the arcade version. This is based on a manga series, guys. So, uh, Area 88. 
I think it was called, and it, the same characters in this game are from Area 88, basically. This game would have been called Area 88 in Japan as well, I think. I'm right in saying that. Here's boss time. Um, okay, okay, just focus now. Focus, Mike. Oh... Oh, it's a pain in the backside, this thing is. Ah. I knew I would struggle on this boss. I've been putting off playing it, guys. Because I, I kind of want to show you a few different levels or stages. But you're just going to be watching me trying this boss over and over and over again. So it might not be a long video. But I just wanted to feature UN Squadron on Old School. It's a personal favourite of mine. When it comes to memories and nostalgia. I haven't played this for a while actually. It's really nice to pick it up again. And listen to that music man. It's so cool. Capcom were masters of their craft weren't they. It's such a cool developer. Brought so many good games. And this is definitely one of them. Although there are some people that may not have heard of this game. Um, yeah. Yeah. UN Squadron on the snares. Let me know in the comments if you've played this game. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what system you've played this on. Um, and look out for more content coming to the channel. I shall speak to you all very soon.